By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Not that it takes much. I'm pleased to present to you a Lodge Blast Sling, a Lodge Rope Caster, and the Lodge Warbow. Congratulations, you're a master hunter of the Lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement. Hey, I heard you became a thrush. Congratulations. A lot of changes here. It's inspiring to see Talana as the Sunhawk. Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Balaja the task of getting cables from that herd. But Sor Greece and Balaja are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Balaja wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed the herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jor Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. Always so pale. A few minutes at the forge, the heat'll put some color in your cheeks. I don't need a forge for that. Rushing into the wilds should do it. Mmm, what's lit your fire this time? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap, I need to hear about it. You sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caleb could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go... Careless, two-fisted smelter. What'd he do? Traded places with Jagris. By fire and spit! What are you gonna do about this trade? 
Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jogri's and Baladia didn't need his push. They're bound together. Just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the arm. Never figured Caliph for a tender sort. <laughs> You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned, some things will happen no matter what you do. Why did you need behemoth cables from that herd? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast and we always need more. Our guns keep us strong and free. Without them, we're easy scrap for bandits and machines. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. That's a burden we won't bear. But you asked me for help. <laughs> Some burdens are welcome. Why the urgency with this herd? Once that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come for a long while. We need those cables, and we've got to take them now. If you find those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth cables while you're at it, I'd be beholden to you. Careful. It could become a habit. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just, why don't I track it down for you? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. I can sneak up on the herd better without conversation. Arguing, you mean. I'll go with you alone. Jorgris can ask his incessant questions to the wind. Why did you even agree to the trade if you can't stand a minute of my presence? If you weren't... Enough! Jagris, Baladja asked you to switch with Caliph so she could spend time with you. What? And if I heard right, Jagris led you off course so he could spend more time talking with you. Uh, really? Now, you talk it out while I get those behemoth cables. Where did you last see the herd? Oh, uh, up on that ridge. And take some arrows with you. <sighs> Thanks.
You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagri's and Baladia should be along. Eventually. Mmm, we've been expecting you ever since they came back. Whatever you did, it worked. Now they're off snogging in the shed. Finally. She put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them. We may not see Jorgris and Balaja before tomorrow at this rate. 